Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Live. My name's Justin, it's almost sunset, and we're here at the top of Twin Peaks, San Francisco, California. Today's challenge, sunset bracketing. High dynamic range, or HDR, usually gets a bad rap. It's mostly associated with overprocessed, unrealistic looking images. But today, we're gonna to show you how to capture realistic HDR so that you're really bringing out what the eye sees as opposed to just the camera. Normally, like probably what you're seeing right now, you either have to sacrifice way overexposing the sky or way underexposing the foreground. If you don't have a bracketing function on your camera, you can always simply take three exposures. One underexposed, one the exposure that you think it should be, and then one overexposed. But with exposure bracketing, we can do our best to capture the best of both worlds. For this challenge, you will need a camera a wide angle lens, a shutter release remote, a tripod. You don't have to have a shutter release remote, but I find it to be incredibly beneficial in order to capture the image that you want in reducing camera shake as much as possible. I'm putting the sun and the Sutro Tower in the right third section of my photo. I'm going ultra wide, I think I'm at 14 millimeters and I'm trying to capture as much of the scene as possible with a good amount of foreground and a good amount of the sky as well. You're gonna make sure you're attached to a tripod and if your tripod's good enough, it's gonna have a little latch here at the bottom that's gonna allow you to attach a bag or something to weight it down in this serious wind. I also have my shutter release remote attached and ready to go. For camera settings, I'm shooting in aperture priority mode with my aperture at F16 in order to capture as much depth of field as possible. My ISO, I'm keeping it 100 because I don't mind having a slower shutter speed because I'm mounted to a tripod. The other critical point is I've turned my bracketing on with two stop intervals. Now let's go back and post-process it. I've already imported my five raw files from our shoot. I'm gonna open them up in Lightroom. And just so we're clear, all I'm really gonna do today is show you how to merge these five images into one. So I'm gonna select all five, right click, photo merge, HDR, and let it generate its preview for a minute. We are working with very large 36 megapixel raw files, so it may take a minute. Preview looks good. I'm gonna press merge. Looks pretty great. I'm just gonna do some very basic stuff. I'm gonna crop it down to the aspect ratio that I'm looking for. And then, because I was shooting on a, an extremely wide lens, I'm gonna do a tiny bit of lens correction. I think we got it. If you want to learn more about how to take great sunset shots using exposure bracketing, Creative Live has a number of excellent courses on the subject. For example, John Gringo's Fundamentals of Photography will get you all the way there. We'd love to see what you guys come up with, so please tag your Instagram submissions with hashtag Creative Photo Challenge. If you haven't done so already, make sure you sign up at creativelive.com cpc to receive challenges like this in your inbox every week.